this lesson, we're going to cover how to create a pivot table in Google Sheets and some of the features that come with a pivot table. We're also going to talk about inserting slicers into the pivot table that allow filtering quickly on certain categories. So you can see here we have a loan detail data set and just give, to give you a sneak preview of what we're going to build, we want to build a pivot table like this off of our loan detail data and have slicers here on the side where we can select or unselect certain loan types. So if I only wanted to see business or mortgage loans, I can filter on that. If I wanted to see only certain branches, I can filter on that as well. So we'll get started here. So as you can see, we have a detailed data set with categories like loan type, branch location, original balance. So the first thing we want to do is go up to the data ribbon, select pivot table. You can see it selects the data range that it thinks we want to include. Now this goes down to row 137, which is the last row containing values in our data set. If you are planning to add new data onto your existing data, you might want to change the end point of your range to just the column letter and that will make it infinite so you can constantly add new data. Below that, we have two options for inserting our pivot table, either in a new sheet or the existing sheet. So we wanna do it in a new sheet, so we'll hit create and on this new tab that gets created, we have a blank pivot table to the left. To the right, we have the pivot table editor window. So now the first thing we wanna do is create some row category labels. So I'm gonna to go to the rows section, click add, and then this should be a list of all of the column headers from our loan detail. So now I wanna select branch, and you can see our four branches appear, plus there is also a blank row at the top. Now that is because we selected the option to have um, infinite rows in inserting our pivot table. So to not show those empty rows, what we can do is come down to the filter section on the right and click add since we set our labels as branch location that's what we'll select here and you can see currently it's showing all items which includes blanks so i'm going to unselect blanks hit ok and now we only have labels in the rows that contain data so i'd also like to add some additional labels so I'm going to click add under the row section again. This time we want to select loan type. So you can see now we have branch and then loan type as a subcategory. Now we want to select values. So I'm going to come down to the value section, click add. I want to select original balance and the default is to summarize that by sum so that looks good now the only thing you might want to do is adjust your header because it will say the sum of whatever your field is so i just want to take out the sum of part that looks good so pivot tables are exactly what they say they are they you can pivot the data so if i wanted to move the loan type categories to be column headers instead of row labels all i need to do over here on the pivot table editor window is move this to the column section and you can see our pivot table adjust accordingly so i'm going to move that back up to the way it was and if i wanted to change the order i can move the loan type up above the branch categories and now 
we begin with the loan type categories followed by the branch locations. But I like it the way it was, so we'll keep it as is. So now what we'd also like to do is maybe add a, another value that contains percentages of the original balance. So I'm going to click add in the value section again, select original balance. This time for the default, um, we want to change this to percentage of column. And now we get percentages relative to the grand total and also percentages relative to the subtotals. So if I wanted to remove any of the subtotals, I could. Um, you can see right now we have it on the loan type. We have a subtotal for the branch for each loan type. So if I were to uncheck that from the loan type section, you can see that goes away. And the only other total we have is our grand total for the branches. So, but I would like to keep those checked. So now what we wanna do is insert some slicers. This will allow us to filter based on categories. So I'm going to go up to data, select slicer. The slicer box will appear. So I'll click on it and then from there I can move it to the right. Now it's not currently set up because the first thing we need to do is select a column. So you can see now that we have this highlighted, we have a slicer window that appears and it says select column first. So we'll come to the column section. We want to first filter on branch location. So I'll select that. Maybe we'll customize it. So we'll change the background color to a navy blue. And if we want to change the title, we can too. I can change this to location. And now we can filter based on this data. You can see there's one option for blanks. Um, so if I want that to go away, what you can do is up in the top where it says filter by condition, it's currently set to none you can say is not empty and hit OK. And now once we go back into this, we should only see the four branches and we do. So now I can deselect branches I don't want to see, hit OK. And you can see our pivot table adjust accordingly. So if I want to reselect them all, there's a select all option and I can click OK again. So now we want to add a second slicer for the loan type. So the easiest way to do that is to click on your first slicer, hit Control C and then Control V. Now this is still set with our first filter criteria. So we need to go into this right options box and click edit slicer. First thing we want to do is change this to loan type for our title display. We want to change our column to the loan type as well. And that should be about it. So now if we want to filter based on a certain loan type, maybe we don't want to see auto because that's the smallest percentages loan wise. So you can see now we have the branch locations by just the business and mortgage loans. So that is just some of the basic features of pivot tables and slicers in Google Sheets. 
Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.